Hi everyone! How are you today? I am wearing this because today I want to read the my one of my favorite passages in the Bible, which is when Christ returns, Jesus returns. How are you going to be living when Jesus returns? Oh, I so want to be loving him and be the spotless bride just ready for the Lord to come get us. I love Jesus. So there in Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 to 16, it says, Christ on the white horse. We are to be the spotless bride, anticipating Christ's return and waiting for him to come get the, the, the bride, spotless bride is his church, the church, the people the elect, the people that love the Lord with all their heart, mind, soul, strength, and follow his commands and live in righteousness. So, let's read. I always wanted to do this on a white horse, but um, don't have my white horse yet. So maybe someday I'll be able to read it with a sword and a white horse. <laughs> but anyway, so now I saw heavens opened. And behold, a white horse, and he, capital he, Jesus, who sat on him, was called Faithful and True, capital Faithful and capital True. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Ooh, I would so love to be one of those people, one of those army people followed him on the white horse now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword and with it he should strike the nations and he himself will rule them with the rod of iron he himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty god and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. When I saw, then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in the midst of the heavens, Come and gather together for the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses, and those who sit on them. And the flesh of all people, free, slave, and both great, small and great. And I saw the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him, capital him, who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the rest were killed from the sword which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. Okay, it keeps going. Isn't that, a, that something that's worth reading it's right now? And we need to be ready, ready for Christ's return. If you love Jesus, we need to be ready for Christ's return. And being ready is definitely not living in sin. That we are not his if we're living in sin. We need to be the bride of Christ. Spotless, blameless, and and anticipating the return of our holy and awesome and mighty Lord. Uh, this hope this encourages you. 
if, if it scares you, you might want to look into loving the Lord, believing in Him, and turning away from your wicked ways and being saved. And, and God is so good. He's just. And He is... That's who our God is. He's mighty and powerful. He's not this little weak God that everybody can boss around to tell him who to be and what to do and and decide what they're going to do. God is God. He is mighty and awesome. And Jesus is the Son of God. And he will be returning in all his glory and might. Just awesome. Awesome picture. Well, someday I would love to do like some kind of video or movie but anyway love you all have a good day and talk to you later